So it is Friday. It's day one of the Michigan snowstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody always acts so crazy when we're getting snow. Bread and milk. You gotta go get your milk and bread and eggs. Even though you probably never... No one eats them. Yeah, no one uses any of those things, but you gotta go get them. It's really not that bad, but it's only been snowing for about two hours. I get kind of out of work to be a chauffeur. Carly decided, where do we want to go? Four. Yarn. She's making another we'll probably, chunky. We'll probably find dog beds in there. <laughs> Hobby Lobby. A chunky knit blanket. You have to show them the one that you already finished. I'm making one that fits my whole bed. She's getting all. Are you? Oh, are you getting Chase's yarn today too? Well, yeah, I imagine. Yeah. You know what color he for sure wants? He says he wants dark green and a darker green striped. I doubt they have yeah. two. They probably only have the light green that you have yeah, and dark green. Too light, yeah, so. I doubt they have two tone green. Already canceled all evening events. Did they? You know, wrestling will still happen. So Carly had asked me if I wanted to drive. I said no, thank you. So I knew you were. I didn't ask you to drive. You knew I wouldn't. So. <laughs> So I said, ask your dad if he wants to drive us. So we're headed to Hobby Lobby. Lucky I just got my work done. You did get your work done? Yeah, it's Friday. It's four o'clock on a Friday. You should be done by with work by now anyways. Oh! Well, I could have this nice white. Well, that's what you want. But last time I was here, though, they didn't have this. I need 18 of these, so. Oh my, 18? Yes. How did you figure it out? I looked up this girl who made a king size blanket. 60 little swoops across and it's 18. 60 by yarn. what? Oh, until the yarn runs out, so basically. Wait, she said they were 30%. Okay. Let's do some math here. Yeah, how much is that gonna cost? I just screwed something up. Hold on. 18 times 799. 30% off. It's gonna be $100. Oh, that's not too bad for a king size one. I really like this blue color. This always happens to me. My lips are coming off. Your lips? <laughs> the inside. Like this, these colors would look really cute together. Do you want one? No. I'll make you one, but you gotta pay for it. I'll see how you are once you do yours and Chase's. What do you mean? Because I don't know yet. Well, wait, we need to get all this white. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This looks kind of thinner than this. No. Is it? All right, so we decided, because Carly was gonna make Chase a blanket, and they didn't have the color that he wanted. So she's gonna make me one that is blue. Oh, he took the other bag upstairs. Great. This is bag only has blue. <laughs> Anyways, it'll be blue and like an off-white cream color. It'll go blue, cream, blue, cream, blue. Like sections, probably like that big. You can show them my blanket right there. Oh yeah. So this is the blanket that Carl made. Yours will be bigger than that. Do you guys remember when I had this brown yarn and I started making a blanket? I just was not very good at it. It's like my. Is that your yarn? She took it apart and made it. I took. Did I take it apart? Or did you take it apart? You took it apart. Yeah, I took it apart. You gave it then, to me because she didn't do it. And then she had this cream color. This is the color that will be with my blue. We made. But she said it only took her like two hours to make this whole thing, which is crazy. Do you do it with a needle or just your fingers? Oh, you do it with your hands? Here, you want two of these? Sure, yes. Guess who's in heat? This little biscuit maker. Tell them, Tate. She making biscuits? <laughs> yep. She was meowing all See, really like night long. What was it, seven or eight in the morning, love? Eight o'clock, she was meowing outside our bedroom door, whining and crying. Look at, she likes your blanket, Carl, look. Look at her. Ah, uh, the little biscuit maker. Making the biscuits, making the biscuits. Oh. And this was crazy. So Carly and I were in my office. We were talking about our cat. And we look outside and there's two black cats. 
driveway. Like on our driveway over by the pond. So I think it's true that they can smell or Not somehow. <laughs> how, like pheromones. Yeah. But they release pheromones. Our house is pretty well insulated. How does it get through the walls? It's just that strong. That's crazy. And it's so strong, like the cat senses, like she'll go up to like chase, like Cordelia always was sticking her butt in Chase's face. Oh really? Like, they can smell male pheromones. That's so So weird. they actually get close and attached to like male humans as well. Wow. The other thing I got was this cute little coloring book. It's kawaii kitties. Where's your cat thing? Right there. It's so cute, look at it. You like cats now all of a sudden? I've always liked cats. No, we don't like cats. I like bunnies and I like cats. Like, but I want to get those cute, like, alcohol. Am I saying that right? Alcohol. Alcohol <laughs> markers that everybody is using on TikTok. Alcohol. You can get like 80 of them off Amazon in like a little set. 80? Why do you need 80? Because you need every color. You don't need anything. Ooh, you're a stinky boy. Driving everybody crazy. Oh, you're gonna fall off. She meows all night long, sleeps all afternoon, and stays up all night. Meowing and screaming. So hey y'all, it has been such a long time since I have filmed for this channel, it feels like. But I just wanted to go ahead and update you guys on what I have been doing this entire weekend because it feels like I haven't done that much, but in reality I have done quite a bit. So about like four or five days ago I did move my bed. Um, that was not in the planned book at all, but it kind of just ended up happening. You guys know I have my little crises and then I feel like I can't go on with my life until I move my bed and my bed has never been in this spot before. And one time before with Josie, we tried like moving my bed here and like moving my projector and then like nothing worked out. So we literally moved my bed back, but this time I was just very set on it. So I made it happen and I'm very, very happy with how everything is right now, but I'm still kind of in the process of just getting my room to that perfect clean point so so in one second i will show you that but what i have also been doing is i've been doing some intense blanket making oh my gosh that was so hard to say for some reason but i finished my green blanket probably like i don't know four or five days ago the same day that i moved to my bed i decided to just finish that blanket even though it's not like the right size or anything like that and then I decided to make another blanket, which I believe my mom already showed. It was like white and brown and striped. And then we went to Hobby Lobby and I got more yarn. I got white yarn to make a blanket for me and I got blue and like cream yarn to make a blanket for my mom. So I've been doing that like nonstop. Um, let me go ahead and show you. The lighting is so poopy right now, but the white blanket that I made, I already went ahead and put it on my bed. I'm kind of using it as a comforter right now because my original comforter is just not very warm and I feel that this blanket keeps me a lot more warm in the middle of the night. So I thought that looked super cute. This is the green blanket that I was talking about. Um, I kind of just, ended up finishing it. I don't really know where to put it or what to do with it. And then, so yeah, my bed is right here and I'm loving this. This is where my dresser is now and I have my projector right above it. And then, yeah, I kind of moved the other stuff around my room as well. And, and mainly everything over here is what is still a work in progress. But as you can see, this is the blanket that I'm currently making for my mom. Um, I don't really want to move it too much because I don't want to mess up where I'm at but you can see I already have quite a bit of it done I think I have a blue stripe a white stripe another blue stripe and it looks like I had just started doing the white ones so that is super fun I should be done with it probably 
I could have finished it tonight, but I think I'm gonna take a break on it and just do it all tomorrow. I also have been dealing with laundry all day. I had a white load, which is already completely clean and put away. And then I have a load waiting in the dryer right now for me to take care of. And then I have another load in the washer that needs to go in the dryer. So I have just been so busy. Oh my gosh, so busy with like cleaning and stuff. And I really, really need a break. Tomorrow is Monday, which is exciting i guess i don't really know i kind of hate mondays but i really need to get back on like a good schedule so i'm kind of excited that like monday's coming around because usually i use mondays as like my restart day you know and then tuesday i start school so i really 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 needed to get it together because in like 48 hours i will be needing to do my education actually less than 48 hours i'll be needing to do school and actually to mention two of my classes are already opened up so i went ahead and like made my little schedule of assignments on my notion as you guys may have heard me talk about before that i use that just with those two classes i have 64 assignments total so i am freaking out um and i have six classes this semester so that's enough of me rambling. I feel like I'm trying to catch up my whole life because I haven't talked in a while, but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys again soon sometime. So it's now Sunday afternoon, just got out of the shower and I got my workout done today. I vacuumed, cleaned the kitchen. So I'm in the bathroom right now. The reason I turn on the camera is I finally, after many, many years of being a fan of Brooklyn and Bailey, this was my first time trying the Lash Next Door mascara. And I put it on this eye so far, two coats. Not on this eye yet, just to show you the difference. I think what I like about it is it's the brush. It's just such a, the brush is just really, really fine bristles. So it's not clumpy at all. Um, some of the mascara I've been using recently is the Telescopic Lift by L'Oreal. And then I recently got this one from Stilla. And honestly, I like the Telescopic mascara. However, it's just so thick and clumpy. At the end of the night, it tends to be kind of cakey or if you accidentally like rub your eye, all these little flakes are falling off. I don't know. I would just say between those and this one, what I notice is the huge difference is just the fact that it really does a good job kind of like dividing all of your eyelashes and them not clumping together at all. I don't know if that's, people probably look for like non-clumping mascara and also mascara that does a good job curling. I don't really notice much difference in that aspect. I don't really have the longest eyelashes to begin with and I don't use an eyelash curler. I've tried. I've bought them many times and I'm just not the biggest fan. I prefer to just put on some mascara and what you get is what you get. One thing I have been loving, have you guys ever heard of the brand Laura Geller? It's called the Baked Balance in Brightener in Medium. They have different shades. It's basically like a powder and I just use this like this. And I get real good, like around my eyes. And it just, I don't know, really like, just makes my makeup last a little bit longer throughout the day. Sun is shining right through my family room window all the way into my living room. But I have been spending a lot of time here in the living room lately, which is like, we don't have a TV in here, which kind of like, maybe we should put one in here. Cause I just love using our gas fireplace. I've talked about before. I, I kind of like that there's not a TV in here because I'll just sit in here and read. So yesterday, Saturday, was kind of like my day off. I actually chose that as like my day off working out as well. So I did my workout this morning instead, which was nice. I got up and just got it done early so I could enjoy the rest of the weekend. But um, yesterday I saw, I like popped on Netflix and I was like, oh, there's this new, I don't know what, it's called the after movie like a new one just came out so there's like five movies total in this after series and i've always looked at them and i was gonna watch them one other time but for some reason netflix had like all the movies available except the first one which made no sense to me but if you've been wanting to watch them all five of them are on netflix right now and they're actually 
like they're movies, but it's a series of movies that's based off of books. I never really had the desire to read the books, and I definitely don't now because I really feel like I don't hate the movies. But I just I love like the characters, and I do want to see how this whole thing ends. I have two more to go. I watched three of them yesterday. They're like an hour, 40 minutes-ish long. They're not that long of movies. And the third one I was watching like in bed at night and kind of only half paying attention to the end. The thing is, is the couple, the boy and the girl, they have such a toxic relationship. They're so, it's mostly the guy. He's just so mean. I mean, he has his reasons for being mean, don't they always? But this girl, she just keeps coming back no matter what he does to her. And then I feel like a good 40% of these movies are them making out in their, those kind of scenes. And I'm okay with that, but it's like such a, it's like either they're fighting or they're sleeping together, if that makes sense. But I just wondered if any of you guys have read the books, how do you compare them to the movies? Did you like the books or the movies? So it's literally like three degrees outside right now. So there's really not much going on. So I was trying to think of some more hobbies, things that I enjoy that I could do to get time to hopefully fly these next few months. So I decided to pull out all of my coloring books. And in the past, I've only used colored pencils. But I saw on TikTok that a ton of people were using these markers. I will link everything down below that I got from Amazon. I, get, I think it's fun. It's relaxing. You can easily listen to a podcast or I'm watching Netflix right now. Well, kind of just listening to Netflix while I color. That's going to be it for this video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys later on in the week.